Ladies and gentlemen, it is KB Corner time. It is freezing outside. It's a little chilly, a little chilly. I am going to play the role of Mallory today. All right. Do, I, do, you, do you feel it? Am I projecting Mallory right I, now? I got it. I got it. Okay. I feel it. So, we're standing inside the... Raptor. What is it? Is it 423? 423. 423. So, we lucked out. I drug poor Tony out of here today. We have four toy haulers all lined up that we just got four. in. Four. Four. So I thought, there ain't no way I'm doing the outsides. It's too cold. It's it's cold. It's cold. I, I, I thought Dan was joking when he said, hey, come on, we're going to go do camping corner outside. I should have picked stuff inside. You should have. But we don't have four toy haulers in there. So what I thought we would do is give them a general overview of these four different ones, because I think they're four different brands, four different everything, right? right? Yeah, four yeah. different everything. <laughs> So let's give a little tour of this one. Okay. And then let's give a little tour of the next one. So first and foremost, the coolest thing about this particular unit is the fact that it has a side patio. There's a door that goes right here. Um, Why don't we have the patio out? Because it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's it's like 20 degrees and plus everything around us is covered in ice. So, so you've got an extra patio out here, which is a living space. Yep. Then you've got an extra patio off the back, yep. which is a living space. Yep. So you could have 25 people in here and be comfortable. Oh, easily. Right? Easily. Yeah. All right, so let's show them a few of the, a few of the other features. All right, so the other one is this big giant sofa with four recliners. Now, whoever is the actual owner of this mm -hmm. gets the two end ones. Well, yeah. Because they have heat massage in them. Yeah, they say, look, you can if, sit here. If we were plugged in right now and had electricity, <laughs> I would be sitting right here. We'd also have that boom diggity 5,000 uh, BTU electric fireplace on and have some heat. And I would probably be sitting right here with the heat on. Yes. And a blanket. And a beer. Well, I don't, I don't have a blanket or beer with me. But you would have those things if you could. If, if, if I could. Now that, I have one a little bit smaller in my camper. That 100% is going to take the chill out of the air in the majority of the camp. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not going to get all the way up to the bedroom, but I mean, right. it's going to be nice and cozy up Absolutely. here, right? Absolutely. Let's go check out, like, the bedroom and the bathroom. All right. So we have... <laughs> get in here, Greer. We have a ton of room in here. Yeah. King-size bed. Uh-huh. Storage underneath. Absolutely. Storage underneath that lifts up. Uh, wireless charging station on that side of the bed. Plenty of room over here to put your CPAP machines. You know, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> How many ACs do we have? Uh, I didn't look to see if this one's got three. I think three. It might. We'll have to double check. We'll, when have, we we'll to double garage. check when we go I, to the garage. I, I at least two. Three. Yeah, at least two, possibly yep. three. And it's got a television. So you can hide from the 23 or 24 people that are in your camper. Yeah. Come up here, close it off, watch TV, relax. Yeah. Big closet. Wardrobe. Lots of storage space, hanging space right there. Like nice space up there. Absolutely awesome. Big bathroom. Porcelain toilets. What's nice about a porcelain toilet? Um, it doesn't hold it, it, it doesn't hold odors and it's less it's less uh, stain it's or it's more stain resistant. You can also use like your regular old household cleaners on yeah. there, right? Yeah. You know, and a lot of times people don't, I think that's something that people don't think about a lot is whether the camper they're looking at has got a porcelain toilet or a plastic toilet. Most campgrounds have well water. And what is notorious with well water? Rust. 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 So, you know, you put a little water in, you stay at the campground a week or so, and you literally run the risk of starting to stain your, your toilet bowl with a plastic RV toilet. But with porcelain, you know, you can use the scrub and bubbles and all that other stuff. <laughs> you know, anything like that to clean it up, CLR, um, you know, any of the, the stuff. And you can actually scrub it. All right, let's go check out the garage. Yep. And then let's get on to the next camper. Two ACs. This unit has two, two ACs. ACs. But you could put a third back here, you right? You could put a third. It's prepped for a third one. Now, remember I said there is a side patio, and we showed you the door up front. There's also a door back here. Boom, bam! Boom, so you yeah. can come in and out of this garage, out to the patio, around that way, around this way. Yeah, yeah. Say there's somebody that's sitting on the couch that you want to avoid. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no, because the other door's right there. I was yeah. trying to think. But you could come in this side and go to the half bath. So, half baths are great in toy haulers because if you are a side-by-side -side fan, which we know in Indiana, well, I, I'm, I'm sure it's huge in a lot of states. Sure. But in Indiana, that's big. So you're dirty, you're dusty, yep. you're sweaty. ATVs, dirt bikes, things yeah. like that. You can come in here, clean up a little bit, use the bathroom before you go tracing through yeah. the camper and getting it all dirty. Yeah, absolutely. Muddy, muddy boots, muddy shoes, things like that. Pile of you know muddy clothes when you get back from the... the you know, from your daily ride, so on like that, just drop all that stuff right here. Do you remember the size of this garage? No. I don't either. I think it's 11 foot. Uh, probably is, but I'll, I'll have to check, it. but I think it's 11 yep. foot. So back here, we've got a bed that comes down. Yep. We've got a, pe a pair of couches that can yep. also turn into a bed. Yep. And then directly across from that, we've got our own entertainment back here. So this bad boy's got three TVs in it. Three TVs, plus a place to put one outside so you can have... Four, Four TVs. TVs. Yeah, you can have um, uh, what was that? Um, solid gold. Remember the solid gold? Oh, show? Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. You can have solid gold going and have everybody in the campground. <laughs> brick it down, brick it down. Okay, but, let's get on to the next one. Yep. Or our video is going to be seven hours long. Yep. All right, let's go. Okay, we are in number two out of four. Yep. Two. I'm a popsicle. Yeah, it's cold and, and it's really windy. We're going to endure. We're going to endure. You what are we in right now? So we are in the brand new 2021 Vengeance Rogue Armored <laughs> Series 351 G2. So it's the Vengeance Rogue Armored. 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 Okay, so. And it's got a cool Spartan on the back. I know. I love the Spartan love on the, the back. Spartan. I showed that in a video the other day, but the Spartan's awesome. Yeah. Some of the things that pop out to me immediately, number one is... The refrigerator. That bad boy right there. Yeah. Uh, that, that big fury on refrigerator. And everybody, if you've got children, uh -huh. you have caught them standing at the refrigerator door <laughs> with the door open going, we don't have anything to eat. Well, now it's got a window so they can stand here like this. You know what? You could also count your number of beers in there. Oh, there's not enough room. <laughs> well, you can have some of your beers in there and yes. count if you're running low on beer. Yeah. You gotta Absolutely. make a beer run. Absolutely. Remember that B double E double R U N? Beer run. Love that song. Anyway. Uh kitchen is awesome in this one. I know what you know, I love the black farm sink, I love the black faucet, lots of electrical outlets. There's USB chargers and electrical outlets. You know, all over here. I think there's ele uh, electrical. Outlet there is over USB here. and electrical. Um, so you know, plenty of room. Uh, solid surface countertops. The cool, one of the coolest things about this unit: 150 gallons of freshwater tank capacity. 150 gallons. As far as I know, without double checking a couple things, this unit has the most freshwater storage uh, capacity of anything on our lot. So, if you, this one is only generator prepped. If you plop a generator in this bad boy, you fill this thing full of 150 gallons, you can go out in the middle of the dunes and yeah. mud to your heart's content. You betcha. I mean, and take plenty of shots. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're going to try something. You ready? We're going to confuse Greer. Okay. You're going to go that way to the garage. Okay. I'm going to go this way to the bedroom. Greer's going to come with me to do that part, and then she's going to go out there to do that part. All right, let's do it. Did that confuse you, Gary? A little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're in the bedroom. Again, we have a nice king-size bed, storage underneath the bed. We have another big closet. As you can see, a really big closet. Plenty of storage in there. You have a dresser uh, directly across, and you can either mount your TV up here or you could just set your TV here. Your bedroom is on a slide. So when this is in and transit, your bed's actually gonna be here. You can just lay the TV down. I don't know what Tony's doing back there, but it sounds like he's breaking things. Bathroom, it is a pass-through bathroom. And I love the bathroom. I like the wallpaper that they've used. You have the neo-angled shower with a really cool multi-sprayer shower on this. I mean, that just looks relaxing. Big sink area, storage under the sink, medicine cabinet. And you've got some additional storage here for toiletries and all that good stuff. Go check out what Tony's got in the garage. All right, guys, a couple of cool things back here in the in the uh, garage area is, you know, so many of the toy haulers now have these power bunk systems, and everybody wonders what happens if I lose power, what happens if the motor fails, so on like that. 
you've still got to be able to, you know, to get your toys loaded up to get back out of where you're at if they're in the down position. So you've got your two couches right here that can also be used as dinettes. They also flip down to make bunks. Now, I started this just to make it a little simpler. This unit has pull-down bunks, so right now the back side's down. Front side comes down, and I hit myself in the head. How easy is that? But then you've got your bunk up here, and uh, makes everything really simple. The other cool thing is there's a bunk up here. Whoop. There's a bunk up overhead there, extra storage space. There's USB chargers, electrical outlets, everything all up there. So you can sleep, real quick, you can sleep a couple of people up here, a couple four, of people on your couch, five. And if you don't like them, you can cram a couple of people. Up yeah, there. you could, yeah. And there's a place to store the, the uh, steps for the rear patio. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Super cool. Prep for a washer dryer. And doesn't have a half bath back here. It actually has a wet bath. So you can shower and, you know, so you come in all muddy, you can actually take your dirty, muddy clothes off right here and take a shower right there. As a man, do you wonder if someone has completed multiple things in there at the same time? There's no mirror, so it would make it hard to shave. <laughs> but you could do, you know, two out of the three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just, just saying. I mean, I personally wouldn't do it, but I mean, you could. Yeah. All right. So moving on, let's go to number three. It's cold. <clears throat> Man, my fingers are freezing. <laughs> okay, everybody. So something a little different. Now we're inside of a, a travel trailer toy hauler. We were in two fifth wheels. We're in the Vengeance Rogue 29KS. I'm standing in the bedroom. We've got the queen size bed in this one, storage underneath the bed. As you see, we have the his and hers closets on both sides, storage up above. You do have a place here in the bedroom to mount a TV in here. We're gonna go through the bathroom. Behind Greer, you don't need to, well, you can turn, uh, is the other door to go in and out, or you can come through the bathroom. In the bathroom, we've got our sink with storage below. We've got our medicine cabinet with storage. Then we've got our neo-angled shower again. Plenty of room in the shower. Toilet, which is kind of a necessity in a bathroom. And you do have some additional storage for toiletries and stuff here in the bathroom. And then I'll let Tony take over for the main part of the camper. So here in the garage area, like Dan said, this is a travel trailer or a bumper pole or a traditional or a conventional trailer, any of the different names that people call them. So just like in the Road Armor Big Fifth Wheel, you have a manual bunk system. I'm not going to hit myself in the head again with it. Uh, but you got a manual bunk system here. You've got the two couches that flip down to make a bed. And you've got a rear patio option. One of the coolest things about this unit, though, is the way that this slide works. Underneath this sofa right here is a little trap door that flips up. So if somebody's going to haul a side-by-side -side that they've put bigger wheels and tires on and they need the extra width because of the slide, you fold the sofa up, you fold the trap door up, and then set the when you park your toy hauler in here, when the slide comes in, it comes in around That's the wheels. That's neat. I had no idea. Super cool. Super cool. And then, last but certainly not least, we've got a really nice sized kitchen area here. Yeah. So plenty of countertop space, as I like to say, freezing countertop space. You have storage below, storage above. You have your microwave, your three burner stove, and then over here on the side, I really like the black appliances they're putting in these, yeah. Tony. And I'm assuming the sink is probably black? Yeah. yeah. Really, really cool. So. Because I'm slowly freezing to death, yep. let's go hit our fourth one. What are you doing? Oh! Extra bed. Extra bed. Extra bed. All right, let's go hit our fourth one. All okay, right, Tony, where are we standing now? We are in the carbon 36, and just so everybody knows, it's not 36 because it's 36 degrees out. It's like 22 degrees, and it's freezing. It is frigid. Yes. So, a couple cool things about this. Again, travel trailer. Bumper pull, conventional pull, you know, conventional mm -hmm. trailer. Generator on board, Onan Microlite generator. So this is a travel trailer toy hauler with a generator in it. Beautiful kitchen area. Beautiful kitchen. And actually, you know, I'm standing back here. I've, I've got plenty of room to whip something up right yeah. here. Like yeah. plenty of room. Yeah. You'd be over there and tell me, can I get you a cocktail? What would you like? Yeah. Yeah. I can even throw it to you. That'd be nice. 
I don't want a cold one right now. <laughs> okay, <it's laughs> cold. So, lot, you know, lots of big window space here. Recliners on uh, all three uh, seats. Heat massage on, on one end. Your bathroom and bedroom up here. So, double entry into the bathroom. Porcelain toilet, tub and shower, queen size bed, lots of storage space. You know, lots of storage space outside. Dual ACs on this unit. There is a barn door that slides shut to shut off the, the uh, bathroom right there. But super cool layout, and it's got a great garage area. Okay. Now, I do know in this one, this is a 10-foot garage. I do know that. Still a lot of room in here, but a 10-foot garage. We've got our bed up here, so you've got your extra sleeping space up there. We have our couches again, kind of a central theme in all of our toy haulers, very similar in the garage, right, Tony? Yep. Uh, those will also turn into a bed. And then over here, we have our half bath. Not a wet bath, just a half bath. So we have our toilet, our sink. We have some storage below the sink. And then, I think we've mentioned this on most of them, uh, when you put this down, you actually have a little patio guard that will go around. Yep. And that will work great for little kids and for pets. Like yep. there's not space under there for pets to fall out or whatever. Right. But that's going to give you a nice big additional living space. Sure. And I believe, Tony, this one has the curtain that comes down, yep. correct? So if you want to sit out here and enjoy it, but you don't want the bugs, you can come in here, sit, relax, pull that down. Sure. You're still getting the outside, but you're not getting the bugs, right? Sure. Absolutely. So... That's it. I'm done. I'm Mallory out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just frozen. Short version today. Looked at four units. So um, put in your comments below what we need Dan to do. If Dan wants Tony, because I'm precious cargo. <laughs> if Dan wants Tony to do outdoor units, we need to go on location someplace above 65 degrees. I think there's probably room in the marketing budget to pull all four of these down to Florida to do a seven-minute video yeah, and come back. perfect. I mean, I think it's a great idea. Perfect. Well, Put that hey, in your comments. That's a great suggestion. Thank you for doing this with me. <laughs> Guys, comment down below which one of the four was your favorite and why. And if there's something we missed in one of those, I'll send Tony back out to do a separate video for you of whatever we missed. See what I did there? Flipped it on you, buddy. Hey, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> oh, no, we got to... Well, thank you guys, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe, right? Stay warm. Yeah. Yep. And uh, oh, there's something about a big game or something this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about oh Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl again. Oh, I was talking about the Puppy Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done with you. I'm done. Goodbye. See you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>